All right, guys, well, it's kind of dark. I can't really do a great walk around of a truck right now, but I figured we could go for a quick ride. All right, uh, I'm trying to drive it around a little bit every day just to get the battery and everything up on it, but I don't want to go too far because I'm working on changing all the hoses and belts and everything on this thing. And uh, I just figured I'm going to go around the block. Maybe I'll uh, bring you guys with us and... You know, I'll try to hold on to the camera as best I can. This thing's kind of a hard start sometimes, so we'll see how it goes. We got a full tank we put a uh, gas in we only have it's got dual tanks but we only have the passenger side tank right now uh, the driver's side has a has a leak so it's emptied out I'm gonna work on getting another getting another uh, tank for it it's a little cold <laughs> but uh, she was running pretty gosh darn good the other day it, when I brought it home trying to clear out the clear out its sinuses when I brought it home we came all the way it was about 27 28 miles away and this thing's going to be lucky if it gets 9 10 miles to the gallon and it had a quarter tank <laughs> the next morning when I woke up I went out and I uh, started it up and it ran for 20 seconds and shut off completely out of gas. So <laughs> we just made it home. <laughs> it's, it's a little cold. She's putting, man. She's not. There we go. She's clearing her throat. I really didn't let it warm up. This thing sat for almost a year and uh didn't really run but we got we got tags and insurance on it just because we're going to enjoy it a little bit while we're fixing on it i can't really go too far from home kim already said i'm not coming to get you because like i said uh, the lines for the transmission at the transmission coming forward are pretty good but right when they get to the cooler there's hoses there they're a little dry roddy they're seeping so might get to a point where it isn't going to move if it doesn't have enough fluid it's got a 400 turbo in it that's one mechanical change i'll probably make in the future is we're, we'll get us a nice 700 r for it something where we have an overdrive because i'll tell you what man uh we were on uh, 95 coming home and i had her wound all the way out and she was screaming <laughs> at 80 miles an hour that's all there is guys <laughs> with these big gears in the back you know i think it's got uh, at the Dana, I gotta look on the on the sheet. It's it's geared super super low. I guess the equivalent probably like a, a 411 or maybe even 456. I don't know. I have to look. I think it's actually a Dana that's back there. I got I gotta get under there and I ID it. We'll do that kind of stuff together when we do a walk walk around. But uh, like I said, 80 miles an hour was all there was, and there ain't no more. <laughs> and uh, we. Uh, you know, we were winding it out pretty good. She was letting me know. <laughs> and, and after sitting that long, it probably did it some good, I guess. It's like, the battery looks pretty roached. It's old, but I, got, I, I was down my buddy's shop the other day just to set up the appointment for an inspection. And uh, we put the, the meter on there and, and the alternator's charged. And it was like 14.4 coming back to the battery. So we'll see if the battery comes back for a little bit. But that's another thing I really can't trust for the long term. Man, this guy's parked right in the street. Look at that. But my, my goal is like, I, you know, we just got done eating. I got home from work late. And it's like, you know, I, I really don't have time to do a whole lot of anything else but go for a little ride. And I figured, hey, why not bring you guys along, let you check it out. And uh, we'll do a real good walk walk around on it. It's a great truck. When you guys see the floor, you won't believe it. That's the one thing where the factory paint really is uh, 
is it really shines it's 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 it's, it's still got the uh, luster of a brand new car underneath this carpet that's not an exaggeration uh, what's funny on the outside is uh, somebody brush painted over top of the paint on this and, and you'll see that in the light when we do a walk around it's pretty hilarious but uh, we'll get it cleaned up I think I'm just going to clear this thing we're not going to do much else to it you know like I said it, you know, it's, it's, this is for fun and, and it will pull my race car um, and uh, that's 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 why we got it. Uh, but like I say, we're we're gonna we're gonna fix on it a little bit. We're gonna bring her bring her back around. There we go. You know, get this thing uh, straightened out. Yeah, she might only go 80 miles an hour, 85 tops right now, but she'll pull your house down. <laughs> this thing's got some pull to it. You know, these old 454s, they. They mean business, and it it's only got 119,000 miles on it. It was like I've been looking, looking, and looking for one of these for a long. I wanted a square body, but I didn't want I didn't want a, a half ton. I didn't want a three quarter ton. I wanted a one ton, and it's so hard to find them that when when they're uh, you know they're not all clapped out, all roached out with a dump truck uh, body on the back. Cause that's what they did with these things back in the day they would take them right off the lot either they'd come in ordered without a bed or they'd take the bed off and they'd put a dump body on there and there's there are a dime a dozen out there but they're all you know the frames are all twisted up and everything else another big selling point for this thing when we do the walk when we do the real walk around on this and you guys get a real good look at at, at the frame it, it looks brand new it's, it's so clean all right but, you know there's something with the transmission going on I mean the linkage anyway it's like it'll pop in and out once in a while and it looks like somebody was under there there's a brand new carrier bearing the guy claims the brakes are new they feel really good but we're gonna find all that out on inspection on inspection another thing is uh, the driver's side uh, the valve cover leaks a little bit so it starts to get that burny oil smell on it but nothing too crazy you see it was sputtering when we first got going but now that it's warmed up it runs like a top and then and then and another thing I was I forgot I was gonna tell you guys about when I was bringing it home when we got off of 95 and, and I uh, turned Kim kept going I got up to the light and after it ran that long wide open and I got to the light this thing stalled and guys it wouldn't start back up and my phone battery was dead and all the people behind me are beeping the horn and I'm like waving them, just go around me. And they finally all went around me and I coasted backwards under the overpass. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there, I'm like, what the heck am I gonna do? It's like, I waited like, and I tried it and it wouldn't start it and the battery was completely dead. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm done. I'm just gonna have to put a rag in the window and walk to a phone like we used to do back in the day before they had cell phones. And I tried one more time and it started up. And as soon as it started, man, I floored it. And I'm telling you, the tires lit off on this thing like you wouldn't believe. So it has a little bit in the back. Well, you guys know, look at the gearing in it. But, uh, you know, I'm really happy with the tires on this thing, too. They're brand new, man, brand new. The treads, I mean, I think they just took the stickers off of them and parked this thing. Oh. So. I see when I first come when I first come up now I haven't touched it or adjusted the uh, carburetor or anything on this and uh, I mean listen to it idle perfect now now when I was bringing it home after it sat that long it was sputtering and carrying on every time I'd come to a light not now now she just runs like a top I think I might ride it to work tomorrow now that I got the insurance on it just to show my buddies. <laughs> but uh, it, it needs a lot, guys. As like I said, I don't want to drive too much because like I said, I got to replace all the hoses. Um, I did a couple of the belts. I got the other belt came late. You guys saw that short. If you look in here at the truck, it. Uh, I'm going to get a new dash pad. I'm going to actually, guys, I'm going to redo the whole interior. I'm going to give it a headline or new carpet. We're gonna get a really nice, I think I'm gonna go with saddle brown on the seat. I don't even know how nice the seat is underneath this cover. I might take it off and change my mind, I don't know. I mean, it's got this roached out uh, cover on it. I haven't done any of that stuff. 
but uh, I think all we're gonna do to the exterior is clean it up and uh, we're gonna put some kind of a shine on it like a uh, I don't know maybe we'll try to vice grip stuff I don't know but I, I'm thinking that because there's so much wind and dirt around here it would just stick to it I'm thinking maybe I'll just put a, a satin clear coat on it after I clean it up I, I'm gonna I, I want a Tonahoe cover for it so maybe I'll put some of that wrap the liner in the bed too and that's the only place where, and I'll show you guys on the walk around in daylight, that's the only place there's really, where it's really rusty, is on the top of the uh, passenger side uh, tailgate rail, where they never rot there. And you'll see where there was a line, so there was something on there for years. Maybe a piece of two by four or something that absorbed moisture, you know, that's, that's what I'm thinking, you know. But uh, there's no way to know for sure. this thing i mean it's a beast it's an absolute monster i'm good you know, but like i said at the outside i'm gonna leave the inside we're gonna we're gonna do it up righteous you know i don't know how much you guys can even see <laughs> but we're, like i said we just went for a long ride around the block the gauges are messed up i'm hoping that the temperature gauge and the oil gauge are close to right the uh this gauge doesn't work at all the 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 speedometer works the gas gauge works it says it's got great oil pressure but like i said i don't trust those gauges. i'm gonna get one of those i gotta look behind there don't these have like a a board behind them or something i when i do the dash pad what we got to pull that forward so i'll get to see what's going on and maybe i'll get a rebuild kit for the for the gauges because i just i want it to look really nice in the cab and uh leave the outside the way it is but, doors you got to really slam these doors you guys know the deal but i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to clean up the uh the, this hinge i'm gonna do a rebuild on the hinges like uh, don's hot rod garage did on his truck because this one's a little saggy the passenger side's not saggy but the the catch they need lubricated and uh, i think that it'll close a lot better the uh, i'd like to also get a nice rubber seal kit for it See, this thing shifts weird. That's why we don't want to do too much on it. I got a guy turning around here in front of the house. I'm just parking it in my yard for right now because um, you know, it, it, a little bit of oil leak. I left it in the driveway for like 10 minutes. And it, like I said, the oil, I believe it's either, it's either power steering fluid or it's that transmission cooling line hoses right at the very beginning of the truck. This guy is really, uh, I'm trying to get into my house and I can't because this guy won't move. There we go. I don't like to be a jerk, but I'm not gonna sit there and wait because that guy in the white car doesn't want to go anywhere. All right, there we go. I'll leave the lights on for a second, do a little quick walk around. I love the cab lights on this. The, 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 the running lights on this truck are gorgeous. There you go. Back up and let you guys get a look at her. Really cool. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, that's what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride along. It was fun for me. And I, like I said, I'm trying to do that every day. I want to get her out. Well, I've, every time I run it, it runs a little better, a little better without touching a whole lot. All right, set her down. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe.